Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Return to Monkey Island. We're in the Governor's Mansion on Melee Island and we're about to talk to now Governor, former Swordmaster, Carla, and have a look around this place. But one thing that I thought was really cool is it's been a couple of days since I played this and when I booted the game up, uh, Big Guy Brush and Little Guy Brush, or Boy Brush as I've now found out is his name, were sitting on the bench and you could actually recap the story up to the point where you've got to if you want to, which I think is a really nice little memory refresher. Cool feat. Uh, yeah, Organic was saying that if I'd had the names of the characters on the subtitles, I would have seen that the little kid Guybrush that I thought was Guybrush is actually called Boybrush, which I think is a brilliant name, actually. So let's talk to Carla and then we'll have a look around. Okay, back to fighting. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Okay. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Yeah, okay, fine. So we don't have anything else to say to her, but there is a trivia card here that I've just seen. So, wow, look at that portrait. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> yeah, could be one way to look at it. We can leave the mansion. Ooh, old memories. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> <laughs> can we poke it? Oh, cool, it moves. That's nice. Oh god, there's a lot of books here. The Endless Tale of the Voyage That Would Not I End. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. <laughs> Voodoo tricks you can do at home. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. The Big Book of Treasure Maps. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh, oh that's the one we won. Ingredients by Barbie Lafley. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. <laughs> that's got to be some sort of relation to Morgan Lafley, right? Ship to ship combat strategies by stupid Captain Madison. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Okay, and the autobiography of John Laney. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. <laughs> okay. At the end of the plank. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's carry on having a look around. Uh, maybe I'll wander around the house. Stay out of my bedroom, Three Wood. Oh, come on. Let us go and have a look. Ooh, it's a portrait. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. And an older portrait. Eileen told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies help make the island what it is today. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supportive of this series so far. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but I want to give a specific shout out here to Thanos6 and to Gory1. I hope that's how you say it. Both of them helped clear up where this is in the timeline. Apparently it's actually after Tales of Monkey Island and I wasn't 100% where it is. So now that I know where we're coming from, I get that Guybrush and Elaine are married and things like that. So thank you both of you for clearing that up for me. Government in action. It's a lot of work being governor. Does seem like it. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog. Please take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. <laughs> can we actually take it? No, we can't. All right, so it looks like we can borrow some of these books here, but I don't know if we particularly. Can I borrow a book? <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. Oh, really? I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. Uh, I, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we can't borrow these just yet, but maybe we will be able to later on. So let's leave the mansion. Uh, can we go the back way to the island's interior? Let's see, because I guess the next stop really should be the docks. Uh, so here's the high street, LeChuck's ship, the lookout point, and the shipyard is over here. So do we want to go to the docks? We can't go to what was Meat Hook's place. I don't know if he's still there. Uh, oh, we can go to the forest. Okay, read the sign. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Okay, we don't have a map, so maybe... Oh, some scary eyes there. We don't have a map, so I'm guessing we probably don't want to get too far into this. Hey, Museum of Pirate Lore. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. <laughs> Oddly specific Museum age. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Yeah, until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. <laughs> 
doesn't sound like fun, does it? Uh, read the sign on the door. Oh, this used to be Carla's At house. Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Yeah, this is where she used to live. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Yeah, good memories. Good memories indeed. Right, so I don't think we want to go into the forest just yet because we don't have a map of any sort. So we've got the shipyard. Let's go there, see if we can find anything to do with a ship. Because Stan asked us wow. to come and... That's worse than I imagined. Oh, God, it's incredibly sad, actually. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Yeah, it was quite a nice, I mean, very bright place. Tans. It says, Tans previously owned vessels. <laughs> so sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. It did, and not anymore. What's this note? The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Oh, so I'm guessing we can't get the thing that Stan the wants us to. boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? <laughs> Can we... I don't think we've necessarily got anything that we can um, open that up with. Also, Organic was saying that apparently I can open this up and it won't... Um, yeah, there we go. So, how do I get my own shipping crew? How do I free Otis? How do I borrow a book from Carla? So, we're not going to do any of those, but it will take the little exclamation mark off of it anyway, which is good news because I don't like it being there. What is this? A strange mass. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Oh, I wonder if that's La Esponja Grande from... Tales of Monkey Island, potentially. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. Yep, looks like we might be joining LeChuck's crew. Or attempting to, anyway. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Huh. Wonder why that is. Can we go any further? No. So Stan wanted us to come and get something from his house, but we can't get in. Or his old shop, I should say. So, I guess we're going down to the docks to try and join the crew. I like the way that he sort of bounds on the map, it's quite cool. Okay, well, the truck is already loading his ship. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Yeah, well, this is going to be us swallowing our pride a little bit, isn't it? Scumbar, let's stroll along the docks. Here we go. Hi, LeChuck. Remember us? Your nemesis from five other games. Well, now we want to get onto your ship. Le ship. <laughs> How clever. <laughs> I like it. Job openings. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Oh, good. Require here. Well, maybe he will let us join. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. Right. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. Lechuk's uh. an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. I mean, absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Have you got anything more senior? No thanks, I'm getting my own expedition. Well, I don't think that's going to work. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate. A bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Why not? Yeah. Uh, I could be second mate. I could make a great boatswain. Uh, how about ship surgeon? I could be the gunner. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. I could be the gunner. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What are you, bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. <laughs> I can take it. Yeah. I have a lot to do today. Come on, I could be second mate. I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? No. Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? <laughs> I thought so. Fine. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for All that? of them, probably. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Yeah, can do. Okay, maybe eight. <laughs> Don't waste my time, okay? Uh, how about the ship surgeon? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. Fine. Maybe Swabby's not so bad. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. Oh. You got a mop. Job is. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Uh, Guybrush Throopwood. Smith. John Smith. Andrew LeChuck. Nephew. Andrew LeChuck. No relation. Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. Why? LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. Oh. In fact, you are the blacklist. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. 
You're obviously Guybrush three. Point. We're not. We're not well, Guybrush. That's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew, ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. <laughs> yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Oh, well. That could have gone better. She, that could... Supplies. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Yeah, what's this sign? No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays 3 to 4. Well, let's hope it's not Tuesdays 3 to 4 then. Uh, is there grog in here? I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Hey, that guy's on fire or something up there. Hey, three wood. I shouldn't even be talking to you. We're not Threepwood. Um, I'm not Guybrush Threepwood. I just look like him. Uh, I'm not Guybrush Threepwood. I just look like him. You'd be amazed how often people confuse us. Yeah. Sometimes I impersonate him at parties. Just for fun. <laughs> We've never even met. And I doubt I'd like him if we did. Even if any of that were true, it wouldn't matter. The Chuck would take one look at you and go nuts. Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Sorry. I thought you said it was an equal opportunities thing. Hey, what is it? Uh, can I be on your ship if I change my name? Can I be on your ship if I change my name? Only if you also change your face. Right. Sorry. Okay, well... Hey, what is hello it? Hello again. Um, are you sure I can't convince you that I'm not Guybrush Threepwood? Are you sure I can't convince you that I'm not Guybrush Threepwood? Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Fine. Sorry. I guess we're going to have to not look like Guybrush then. Let's look at our to-do list. Join the Chuck's crew. Quartermaster recognises me and won't hire me. Get a mop. Seize the Chuck's ship at the earliest opportunity. Well, we can do that. And we've also got to um, find a way to get Otis out of jail as well, but I'm guessing that probably comes later. Um, Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Equal opportunities unless you're Guybrush Threepwood, apparently. I mean, it's not like we've caused LeChuck any grief in Why the past. Why was Wally in such a hurry? Hey. He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Well, I guess the town meeting or whatever it is is finished then. Which should mean that we can uh, visit some more of these shops and things. Is there anyone else in the scum bar? these guys. I've got a bone to pick with you guys. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got exactly? All of them. Literally all of them. Uh, I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck. I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck. Even though he's still alive. Several times. Super ironic that sailing with him is the only way you're getting to Monkey Island. Yeah. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. What do you do? I am a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet, and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Trust me, we've got a resume. Don't you worry about that. We've got a big old resume from five previous games, and some of the stuff on it is literally unbelievable. So I'm, I'm just putting that out there, just in case you guys do change your mind so we don't have to join the Chuck's crappy crew. Um, let's... Ooh. Okay, that was Elaine's thing, wasn't it? Right, back into the International House of Mojo. <gasps> Colourful. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, <laughs> aren't you glad you're here? Hey. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Okay. Look at this. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. <laughs> safekeeping, I like it. Ooh, shiny. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. <laughs> Okay, musty bottle. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Yeah. 
not for me. Sticky ball. Oh, Looks like it's ball. been there forever. Someone's <laughs> very excited. I'm looking at this side. Yeah, it's, uh, it is. Ooh. Keep up the good work, buddy. <laughs> it's a creepy, shrunken head with long, stringy hair. Yeah. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. Oh well, you know, if the tourists like them, nice basket. Too bad it's empty. Another nice basket. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Disguises. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises, but alas, oh. they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. Yeah. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. Ah. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now, but I believe I could restore its abilities. Right. So, can we get that to disguise ourselves? That is the question. Well, I tell you guys, that gives us an idea to start off the next episode because we're going to leave this one here. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.